Last Friday, the Ministry of Education announced at a press conference that it would build, renovate, and expand a number of high-quality ordinary high schools to increase the supply of academic degrees. Affect everyone in the future. In the past year or so, the two policies of double reduction in education and high school diversion have often been discussed together. Because the current regular college students in our country are seriously involved, there are insufficient employment opportunities, and the income decline is serious. On the contrary, there is a shortage of frontline workers. Therefore, the diversion of high school entrance examinations and ordinary people becoming industrial workers are interpreted by many people as beneficial to the country and the people. Political correctness. But as long as friends who have followed me for several years have read many of my previous articles on education reform, or new friends can also search for old articles, many articles in our country with the theme of education and evolution will support the reduction policy to support the crackdown on off-campus discipline training. But I, who have written many policy support articles, have never written a policy of supporting the diversion of senior high school entrance examinations and half of the children going to vocational high schools in the past few years. In the past few years, the double reduction of education has blocked the path of arms race for all parents of students. However, the separation of high school entrance examination and the pressure of life class delineation are there, which has caused all parents of students to feel anxious after the double reduction policy. Worse than powerlessness. For many ordinary parents, after working hard all their lives, they did not save their children a fortune, only a little more than the tuition fees. After the off-campus training was banned, the policy of diverting the middle school entrance examination, only half of the children go to high school, it is equivalent to condemning oneself to work hard for a lifetime, and the child is still locked in class before the age of 15. Of course, the parents are inevitably anxious and unwilling. In the past two years, although the government has not made any publicity, the media and public opinion have always portrayed half high school, half vocational high school as beneficial to China's manufacturing industry, and also conducive to the differentiated competition of young people in the future, avoiding excessive internalization. Volume good policy. In the past few years, why have I never written an article to support the good policy of dividing the middle school entrance examination and half of the children go to high school? Because I think this policy is neither humane nor humane. First of all, no matter what the principle of benefiting the country and the people is added, let parents who have made every effort to support their children hope to have a future in the past 30 years except that their children will be locked into a class at the age of 15, and it is easy to persuade others, but this is not in line with the humanity of normal parents. Secondly, once the division of senior high school entrance examination is implemented, it means that the future generation will lock in their future destiny and class when they are 15 years old, which is very inhumane. A 15-year-old is still a minor. Even in the judicial field, general crimes can be exempted from responsibility, but it is obviously unfair to be responsible for future life choices when you are a minor. Just like juvenile crimes, the responsibility is borne by the guardians. Once the minors are 15 years old, they will be locked as vocational school technicians and production line workers, and the parents of the children will still bear the burden of parents are not capable, and parents did not teach you well. Responsibility, this is the origin of the anxiety of the parents of the whole nation brought about by the diversion of the senior high school entrance examination. And as long as the policy of diversion of high school entrance examination is in place, it will be difficult to stop parents from secretly working hard to prevent their children from being locked in their fate in middle school. The Ministry of Education's public promotion of new ordinary high schools this time is completely different from the policy judgment of reducing high schools and increasing vocational high schools in the past few years, and the reason given by the Ministry of Education is to alleviate parents' anxiety about diversion. Obviously, the Ministry of Education and other state departments have noticed the anxiety caused to parents by dividing the high school entrance examination, half of the children go to high school and hindering the implementation of the National Education Double Reduction Policy. This time, increasing the intensity of the new home and the reconstruction of ordinary high schools is obviously also promoting the integration of high school education with the regular nine-year basic education. Most importantly, combined with my country's irreversible population trend, new high schools will be built from now on, and general high school degrees will be increased. In the future, the ratio of high school and vocational high school will be completely changed. The population born every year is almost a high school entrance examination population 15 years later. From 2000 to 2010, 
the bird population, population in China, China dropped from 17 million to 15 million. From 2002 <coughs> to 2020, the bird population in China dropped from 15 million to 12 million. Last year, China's bird population set a new low for decades, falling below the red line of 10 million for the first time, with only 9.56 million. The number of applicants for the senior high school entrance examination in China in 2023 is about the same as the population born in 2008, reaching 15.4 million. Although there have been rumors on the internet that half go to vocational high schools, in fact, the matching degree of educational resources in different cities is different. In first-tier cities such as Beijing and Shanghai, the high school admission rate is above 80%. Then in some sub-first-tier and provincial capital cities, the high school admission rate also exceeds 70%. From what I can find on the internet, the high school admission rate announced by each city is not lower than 60%. Therefore, in the current high school entrance examination, the high school admission rate is above 60%. Based on the number of applicants of 15.4 million people, there are about 9 million high school degrees in China today. This time, the Ministry of Education is promoting the construction of new ordinary high schools, and at the same time clearly increasing the number of degrees. Therefore, the number of high school degrees in the future must exceed 9 million. The high school entrance examination candidates in recent years correspond to children born between 2008 and 2012. The number of high school entrance examination students each year will enter a rapidly decreasing channel after a few years. Therefore, if your child happens to take the senior high school entrance examination in the next three or four years, then the 70% acceptance rate is still a big hurdle in life diversion. But apart from this group of parents, for those who currently have young children, or are just married and have no children, or are still single, and will only get married and have children in the next few years, the anxiety about being diverted from high school entrance examinations will no longer exist in the future. After the official announcement of the comprehensive two-child policy in 2015, newborns rebounded for two years, but after 2018, the number of newborns dropped sharply every year. After falling below 10 million last year, even if there is a birth-stimulating policy in the future, the annual birth at most, the baby barely breaks through the red line of tens of millions again. Today, there are 9 million senior high school degrees, causing the parents of candidates to have anxiety about life diversion. However, new high school degrees will be added in the future, and the number of senior high school entrance examinations will decrease rapidly in the next 15 years, until only more than 9 million senior high school entrance examinations are taken each year. At that time, high school degrees were almost one, one with the number of applicants, so if the country did not have an obvious policy of withdrawing and closing down high schools and reducing degrees, then the future high school enrollment rate would be similar to that of junior-junior high school. The country announced the establishment of new ordinary high schools this year. The policy is implemented for one or two years after site selection, one or two years for school infrastructure construction, and one or two years for educational personnel to be fully equipped. Therefore, these new high schools will be fully completed and recruited after five or six years. It would be too serious to waste resources by closing down and merging after one year. So since it is decided to build new ordinary high schools this year, 10 or 15 years later these high schools will happen to be the year to hit the school. So the life diversion problem that parents are worried about does not exist. Of course there will be diversion and class changes of young people in the future, but such diversion will be completed by the college entrance examination. Although the life diversion was postponed for three years, the children at that time were adults, and they could make more calm choices for their future life with their parents. Of course, some people will point out that if you are destined not to be a reading material, you will be a worker in a vocational high school at the age of 15, and you will be a worker in a junior college after high school. If it is calculated according to the service length of traditional workers in the 1980s or 1990s, of course this is the truth. However, my country's current manufacturing and employment status does not have a shortage of teenage vocational high school graduates. What is lacking is industrial workers who understand automated machine tool technology. Our generation works hard and does not pursue extreme introversion for children, but the vast majority of people at least hope to support children to finish high school, and then let them natural selection and choose their life path and career planning. It is the simple public opinion of the vast majority of parents not to want their children to experience life diversion at the age of 15. This has nothing to do with fighting against double reductions and making up lessons. 
even for Buddhist parents who are willing to let their children be ordinary, let their children finish at least high school is the bottom line in their hearts. And with my country's current employment situation and worker demand structure, it can fully support the diversion after high school. Therefore, this time the Ministry of Education made it clear that building new high schools and increasing academic degrees will be a significantly influential policy shift for all parents in the future, as well as single young people who will become parents in the future. The removal of the biggest anxiety of separation from the senior high school entrance examination, half of the people will go to high school can be said to be the removal of the heaviest peak of the mountain of education, and everyone can breathe a sigh of relief.